Hello. It's almost the end of the year today, 29th December 2021. And I want to invite you today to give yourself a moment to reflect on your present, your presence, your being having an impact on other people, maybe animals, maybe plants, other beings. Your presence, you being you, enriched someone's life. Perhaps your words, your smile, your touch, your look, the way you listened, the way you were being with another human being, animal, plant, natural phenomena like a cloud, it had an, it had an impact on them. And it is so easy to dismiss our impact that is done by us just being ourselves. If we didn't struggle or strived or tried so hard, if it was easy, if it was natural, we quite often just dismiss it. But you know, isn't it the most precious often, the impact we make when we are just fully ourselves, natural, allowing life express itself through us in a unique way. Your presence has made an impact and reached someone or something. Take a moment to acknowledge it. And we also want to invite you to reflect on how in the new year, our mind likes to have this um, moments of endings and beginnings. So it's, it's, it's a good thing, I, I believe, uh, that we have new year and we have a sense that now there is something new uh, beginning. So how in the new year you could make some more room for your presence to really be, to shine, to be shared with the world, with other people or animals, plants. How your presence can be valued, how you can make more room for your presence. I think that a question that can be worth asking is what will I choose to value? Will I choose to value me as a living, feeling being and another human being? as a feeling, a life, mysterious being? Will I value the feelings, the inner experiences, the inner aliveness in myself and in someone else? The feeling aliveness, will I value it? Will I hold it dear and valuable? Or will I value conditioned voice that can be so loud that is telling me I shouldn't be doing this I have to be doing that I need to show up in this way I cannot respond in that way I must do some something to certain standard I'm not allowed to do something else I recently heard that this conditioned voice can be called um, the bad step stepmother archetype. You know, like from the Cinderella fairy tale, the voice of the evil stepmother that she's never satisfied, always critical, always will humiliate you and show you how worthless you are and will ask you for more and more and more and give you more and more tasks. Do you know this voice? 
the conditioned rules, demands. It's so easy. It's so easy to fall into the trap created by this voice. So coming back to the theme of making more room for your presence, I think this question can be a useful tool. What will I value? The feeling aliveness in me and other beings? Will I be present with the aliveness? Will I share from the aliveness? Will I listen to the aliveness? Or will I just dismiss it and totally focus on the conditioned shoulds and have tos and how we should interact with each other and what I must be doing because someone, something said so. I'm finding it to be a good practice for me to, with, to monitor in a way with curiosity, what am I now choosing? What am I choosing to value? The living aliveness or the conditioned voice. Because when I'm choosing the aliveness, I'm choosing presence and making more room for presence. I'm wishing you a lot of presence and may your being have a beautiful impact on other beings. And I also want to let you know that um, I'm accepting new coaching clients I have a package call, called Remember Your Magic, which is uh, something light and deep at the same time. It's a package of four sessions done throughout a month, once a week. The sessions are rather short, 45, 50 minutes. And those sessions are dedicated to nourishing your presence, your beingness, your magic. I call it magic, the unique presence that is expressed by you and via you. If you would like to um, find out more, let me know and we can have a chat, okay? Have a beautiful end of the year and wonderful beginning of the new one. Take care, magical being. <laughs>